having the document in place. And if the House feels that there is a need to have a document for all of Sindhu Park. So very briefly, we took a very large view of where the Sindhu Park is situated. And so we looked at where the system is located within the basin. We looked at how recent it is in terms of geological age. We looked at the constraints within which uh, we operate in the Sundarbans in development terms. All of this darker green area that you see on the map is unelectrified. And all of this is an installation of lack of development that we are all aware of. Ecological significance does not get into and we have to just on that. And our, our present MEP, we are a stakeholder in the Sundarbans and we've been active in the Sundarbans ever since the inception of uh, the Project Tiger. In fact, the first Tiger tranquilization was uh, under the ages of the Europea when uh, John Seidens speaker was called in, I think, uh, by one of our founder. And right. And right, yeah. Uh, Professor Hathra is here and uh, a lot of our work depends on the kind of research that this school does. We use uh, information uh, from there. That 17 point eight is still from that old thing. Yeah. yeah. It, it's this, this. This is alarming in any case, but the figure of 12 millimeters is as alarming uh, for this one. But there, there is a debate. Uh, there are people uh, who do not see eye to eye with the kind of research that Professor Hazra does. And uh, which is fine. I, I do not see a problem in it. Uh, I look at opportunities as this to take the debate forward. <coughs> uh, but we, we, we as an organization are uh, believers of what he says. And therefore, and it's also a precautionary principle. Even if he's wrong, there's no harm in taking precautions. <coughs> Uh, the WWF has had a dedicated Sundarbans program since 2005 and has been meeting uh, a lot of these challenges on a pilot basis to see what works, what doesn't work. Essentially, uh, to share the learning. So we've been uh, able to reintroduce our problem patterns in certain places. Very recently, with the help of Dr. Ghosh, we've been able to access a paddy variety called Hamilton historically known and uh, now it has been tested that it can withstand 14 parts per thousand of salinity and therefore is hope provided we can you know take it back to the farms. So this is the kind of work that we do. <coughs> For me this graph is a very powerful thing. Here we have the population rise and uh, Dr. Mukherjee just said that we might be looking at a population of 5 million in the Sundarbans. <coughs> and here is the graph which shows the decline in forest cover. Usually when forest officials get to see this, they say, no, 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 we've got something wrong with it. This is satellite data. This is not necessarily due to human interference. There are land use changes happening. Not use, so to say, land cover change happening. Canopy cover is being replaced by saline blinds. And therefore, you get a graph like this. So, on the one hand, we get people, more and more people. And on the other hand, we have less and less of forest cover over the years. Yeah. Is it the tree cover or uh, the forest land legal? I know it is tree cover. It's tree cover. This this figure is tree cover. It will be together or there is a title to be changed. Forest cover. No. Yeah. Yeah. Forest cover. Tree cover. Tree cover. Uh, tree cover. No, it doesn't say forest area. It says forest cover. It's not legal forest. It's a village, 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 so one part is the, the reduction of the forest area, 
that is the, from the southern side of the island, like say Aunt Wali, Mahdi, Dodar, Shirodi. So some of the chunk of the forest is really located. And another part is the transformation of the forest. That is from the dense forest to degraded forest, degraded forest to saline plains. And particularly with the tide entering the core of the island area, and then getting stagnant there and drying up with salt. So one population is gone. The thing we are seeing that again there can be a regeneration with heliops and other salt derived mangroves, but still it is not happening. So we have classified each part by part. So total forest to us is the available green. This is a personal reduction. I see that two to four things. And, and this is two one three two. Actually, two hundred. Hardly five percent reduction. Yeah, Actually, five percent reduction. As you are plotting this graph, you are plotting it. Bigger scale. Bigger scale. Bigger scale. Yeah, yeah. Have you have have you compared the data with forest sample of India data? You are showing this uh, this uh, figure. Yeah. Yes. I think that it is fifty percent of the forest area. Looks like. No, it looks like they started the axis. Half, 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 half of the. Half of the area. Half of the area. So half of the area. The visual is bad. The visual is bad. He is not communicating rightly. It is actually a loss of. See how many square kilometer it is. From two four six to two one three two. But these data, that number you cannot convert. Because the number is there, if you have to convert it, you have to come with the data. What is the problem? You say if it is uh, from GIS data. Yeah, GIS data. Say. So there may be interpretation in the cover quality, as he is saying. No, but to me, if this is saline blank, it is not a forest. Yeah. To the forest department, it is still a part of the forest. And th there is a lorry. And in their forest area, they include the water area. I don't include water area in the forest. Okay. So that is the water area, creek area. I don't include creek area in the forest. To me, it is a creek. This is a water area. Yeah. So there lies the problem that you are seeing that it is not telling with your data, but it will not tell you with your data. But if somebody can come up with a new data that this is my green cover. Green cover, okay. green cover. So, so then I can always exchange our data and can compare. But if you say that this part of water you have not included, I will not include water. So, so I think there are green cover. They mean as forest department cover data. Yeah, yeah, but that, that, that is not. That is not. No, 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 Saline water itself, due to five plants presence in the saline water, yes, it absorbs the surface. So, no, it releases also. Uh, it releases also. I'm not going into that detail. No, but so I, 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 I'm just it, 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 so, uh, there is no harm. Uh, they are saying that the forest cover is reducing. No problem. Sir. Forest cover and tree cover. Difference, uh, as per the scientific definition, uh, the tree cover is the all cover, whether it is in forest land or outside forest land. Other social forest is key, or uh, that is due to natural regeneration, which is not on the forest development side, not on the forest development so, but That includes in the tree cover, but it doesn't uh, comes under the uh, purview of the forest cover. Uh -huh. So, and nice. forest cover, what we understand, I think the forest people understand, which is that uh, uh, is statistics given by the forest survey of India. So, that is fine, but this is an independent okay. study. Ah, yeah, yeah, no problem. Okay. Okay. And it is the study only in the protected forest area. Fine. Okay, it is not in the social forest part, not in the buffer, it is not a vegetation part. Okay, and not, uh, I mean, you see the real protected forest area without water. Even I have omitted the creeks also. That is canopy part. Yes, that's a green. Yeah, it is green canopy. Yeah, but forest also have the same. But even if there is a leaf or something else that is called green, that is the reduction. Yeah, and the quality of that. From quality of that. Dense light, light to black, that transformation we are observing each year on the protected. Have you studied what I have? I have 
I told you about the two reasons. Okay. 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 One is the loss of forest area to the sea. Okay. 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 That is not of your problem. Okay. Another is the increase of saline blend. Okay. That is also not your problem, but it is happening. So these two processes are related to climate. Huh? Okay, to move Go on, what we are essentially uh, saying is that we need to look forward and therefore uh, given all the problems that we are faced with, either man-made or natural. And uh, within this document we have talked about four phases through which uh, we can look at the vision or we can envision what 2050 we would like to see for the Sundarbans, for the people of Sundarbans, for the ecosystem or the biodiversity of the Sundarbans. Uh, I will not get into the very great detail of this, but essentially what we have said is the Sundarbans as a biosphere district is to be proposed. Uh, many of our districts within the country have scheduled status, uh, say for example schedule 6, which gives the, the residents of that district certain advantages over other districts. It also puts forth certain restrictions. So for example, I as a mainlander am not allowed to acquire property in some of our building districts. So the, the concept is that this particular biosphere district could have human status with certain advantages and certain restrictions in place. And within the <coughs> phase one, we are also talking about uh, to provide opportunities for the people of Sundarbans, especially people along these areas. This is again a rough, rough stroke, a much more detailed study might change the alignment of this green line that you see here, but not very uh, uh, starkly. I mean, suddenly the green line would not start traveling from here, but it could be a little. This is taking into account the uh, ground and tide mountains. Yes. No, what is the time frame you are talking about? I mean, the phase one. We, we haven't put uh, time frames to this yet. I mean, essentially, what we have done is phase one needs to precede phase two. That way, uh, some of these phases could take longer. Say, for example, creation of a district itself has its own trajectory and could end up taking three to five years. I mean, when Chambers Patna was bifurcated into north and uh, south. I think 1986 or 84. Uh, that process took about five years. So as you are, we are targeting to 2015. Yeah. So, I mean, is there a suggestion that? No, but the, 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 some of some of the uh, some of the work within the phases could also happen parallel. But the very first is to accept that single ones need special uh, treatment and therefore special status. So in phase one, we are suggesting that. Uh, in phase two, we are talking about development of infrastructure and so on and so forth, so that there are opportunities for people uh, of the Sundarbans outside the green area in other places. Why I'm hurrying as well, uh, I'll request the reviewer here who reviewed the document uh, to come over and uh, provide his understanding of the document and the process. So, essentially, the two phases the phase two is uh, for physical infrastructure development. Phase 3 is for the capacity development, capital development of the people and essentially in Phase 4 we are talking about restoration of the mineral ecosystem in areas that would eventually uh, have lesser and lesser population. So this is the idea in four phases and of course the reason why we are here today is because Sundarbans is a larger unit and Indian Sundarbans is only a smaller part that we need to go forward, we need transboundary collaboration. And uh, probably we need a visioning for all of some of So I'll leave it here and I ask uh, and request Professor Arun Bhattacharya, who was the, one of the reviewers, to come in for this views. Professor Bhattacharya, sir. Uh, just one question. Yes. That means uh, in the phase one, yeah. uh, we were uh, talking about the separate district. Yes. So uh, does it include the, the civil administration also? Yes. All of it. I mean, the, the, the biosphere boundary that you have now, mm. which has the civil part. <laughs> Difficult. Are there remaining part? Where the forest cover is there, dense forest cover is there. Yeah, all of it then becomes a district. And even now, the forest, like you are part of the South Pacific Partners Forest Division, you would have a